Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this channel update for June 2021. Now I am reading something from a, a kind of a checkmark list that I have on the screen here. So I might be looking down there instead of up into the camera and I hope that you can forgive me for that. But uh, this is kind of a new format for me so I have to be a little bit... Um, well, uh, reminding myself or my brain what I need to talk about. So, first of all, I would like to apologize for the uh, lack of uh, regular content on the channel currently. The main reason for that has been the construction work that has been uh, going on in the backyard just outside of our office window where the uh, noise levels have been exquisite. Uh, exquisitely annoying is probably the best term uh, used to describe that. And uh, I noticed that people commented it more than once in the video comments, and uh, it was also quite distracting for me to have to listen to the now to the loud noises because it was actually, or it is actually, as loud as when I'm wearing my headset. It comes through the uh, the uh, headset uh, earbuds or whatever they're called, the on air or over ear clocks or uh, whatever. So uh, it's no wonder that it's actually carrying through into the microphone. Uh, I usually record my YouTube content during uh, the daytime and then I try to spend the evenings uh, and then also of course into the nights streaming. Um, but that has been difficult due to that noise so uh, I hope that you can bear, bear with me. And uh, hopefully they will be done soon. Uh, at least the uh, the hotel that they're building there will be opening shortly. So I hope that means that the construction work is also ending shortly. Now, for those of you who are uh, regular followers of the channel for some time, uh, at least a year or so or more, you will know that my activity during summer has a tendency to drop. Uh, summers in Norway are usually quite short. Uh, June to August, maybe September if we're lucky. And I do like to enjoy uh, the summertime because I am quite a big fan of sun and light and heat. Um, but of course, summers in Norway are also quite fickle, so it's kind of a 50-50 whether uh, we'll have a good summer or we'll have a summer full of rain. So uh, we'll see how much, uh, how much content uh, the summer will bring uh, in terms of uh, everyday content or some days per week content. There's also the matter of sleep. Uh, it is difficult for me to sleep when the temperature in the bedroom is above 20 degrees Celsius, which it usually is during the daytime. So um, I need to try to sleep at night, however hard that is for me. So that will also factor in a little bit there. Now, in regards to uh, streaming versus uh, making content on YouTube, uh, one thing that Streaming Satisfactory has taught me is that uh, the games that have things in them that takes a lot of time, uh, those games are probably better to do in streams. And uh, Satisfactory is quite relevant in that regard since there were many people who asked me why I skipped things and then just showed things on camera after the fact and they wanted to see all of the nitty-gritty details of what I was doing when I was building the factory and streaming has been giving me the option of uh, doing both so I can uh, just upload the uh, the long content uh, while I can also um, make the the shorter videos uh, for the content when the construction work is done of course there is a fair bit of progress being made in the factory that I haven't been able to record due to the construction work. So, But I am also considering that maybe it might be a good idea to have a secondary channel for uh, for the streams. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really that large of a YouTube channel that I'm certain in regards to whether or not that is a beneficial move. But you guys can, of course, provide me with feedback on what you feel would be best in that regards. Uh, there's also the thing about streams having things happening that might be distracting to, uh, to you as viewers here on YouTube. Uh, people subscribing with audio alerts, people, people donating money with audio alerts, uh, audio alerts going on for a long time and so forth. And those things might not be best in terms of uh, of uh, 
watching the content for what I'm doing, since it also usually distracts me from playing the game uh, during the times that it happens. But uh, yeah, please do leave me some feedback on that. Real life aside, uh, plans for upcoming upcoming games and series. Uh, I did release an episode of uh, the game Tainted Grail Conquest yesterday, uh, which is a quite fun game. Uh, reminds me very much about Slay the Spire, just that it has more role-playing elements, so I hope that uh, you guys will enjoy that. Then, of course, I will be continuing to play Satisfactory. Uh, that's probably not a huge surprise to anyone. Uh, Coffee Stain Studios have announced that Update 5 is uh, most likely going to be released sometime this autumn, which uh, that would be uh, quite fun. Uh, they have uh, announced that it will bring quite substantial changes to the game, particularly the map, where the Northern Forest, which is everyone's favorite spot of starting, will be so heavily revamped that if you have a factory in that area, I urge you to finish that factory because you are very likely going to have to restart uh, when update 5 is launched. Dyson Sphere program recently released a, a major update um, and I wanted to play it but uh, that is one of those games where I feel that the early to mid game is very suitable for YouTube whereas the late game might be more appropriate for streaming because then things take a lot of time as in satisfactory, uh, like waiting for the Dyson Sphere to finish, uh, that takes quite a bit of time. Um, but I still might play a uh, Dyson Sphere program, uh, depending on when the uh, the um, uh, construction work finishes, uh, or I might just wait until the uh, the uh, update, uh, or until they update it more with maybe more content. Then we have Total War Warhammer 3, which is scheduled to launch late 2021. I am very hyped about that. Uh, so you will definitely see content on Total War Warhammer 3, whether or that will be exclusively streaming or it will be uh, the usual YouTube uh, series that I've done in the past. I don't know, maybe a combination. Uh, again, feedback would be very welcome here. There are other Warhammer games too. The 2021 is definitely uh, bringing uh, Warhammer content into the world. We have the uh, 40k game Battle Sector, which I have uh, looked at and I like what I see. Uh, that game will definitely be for YouTube and not for streaming because it has a format that is very, very um, YouTube um, friendly. So. Uh, Expect that. I think they're releasing now in July, so uh, not too far off. And then finally we have Warhammer 40k Darktide, which is, uh, as far as I know, made by the same developers who made Vermintide. And uh, that's Vermintide just in 40k. Now, I was never a big fan of Vermintide, personally. Uh, the reason for that is that the range classes there were kind of clunky to play for me, and uh, I'm hoping that with a 40k rehash, where ranged weapons are fairly more uh, focused on uh, rather than melee, uh, I mean melee is also about a 40k, but uh, ranged is probably the main thing in 40k, uh, so I hope that that will be um, improved upon in Darktide. Now, if they add a single player campaign thing to that, that will definitely uh, end up on YouTube if I like the game. Uh, whereas co-op multiplayer, uh, I am hoping that Red Circuit will uh, find the game interesting and that we might have some uh, fun uh, cooperative uh, multiplayer going on there. And then I will up upload that to YouTube, of course. The uh, State of the Game series that I uh, started out with, uh, Foundation, I plan on continuing that, uh, looking at games that have been in early access for a while. Whether or not I've played them before on the channel is not that relevant, but I do like to play those uh, blindly, um, which means that I will be batch recording when I do that, as I did with Foundation. And uh, when I get comments uh, with tips for what I should do or not should do, it's difficult for me to ignore those comments. I, I am a fan of backseat gaming, I like that. And that is why I do batch records, because that means that I will not um, taint the uh, experience of how does this game feel now, and how intuitive is it, uh, is it difficult to get into, and so forth. And that also 
is one of the important aspects of why I'm doing the State of the Game series, so that you guys can make an educated, uh, or rather, uh, well, an educated choice on whether or not you want to play the game. Now, there is another thing that I want to address, and that is views, video views. <clears throat> Sorry. I have never been particularly interested in video views, except for the fact that, of course, if I get a video that has high views, and that is exciting but i've usually played the games as long as i find them interesting to play and recorded them uh but with also now doing streaming there is also the matter of time uh so my interest in views is not the usual uh interest that many content creators has uh like how much money does this uh, provide me? My interest is spending my time where I'm producing content, where the content should be as relevant as possible for you guys. And if I compare two videos of two games that I'm doing, and I see that one of the, the game videos is at 500 views, whereas the other game is at 50 views on an episode, uh, the latter one is clearly not exactly uh, hitting the target in terms of uh, of um, appeal. Uh, so that's probably a good idea, a good indication that maybe I should uh, prioritize differently in terms of the time I spend making uh, videos for YouTube. But the one thing uh, that is relevant there is that I can also see on uh, videos in the uh, analytics uh, section, uh, I can see who watches videos. And one of the metrics that I can see there is whether uh, a viewer has been subscribed or not subscribed. It doesn't give me details or anything like that, but it just says uh, if I have 100 views, then it will tell me that uh, 47 of the views are from subscriber and uh, 53 of the views are from people who are not subscribed to the channel. Uh, the thing that I've noted on the videos that have um, the lowest views is that 80% uh, or more are subscribers, which means that... Um, or I, I don't really know what it means. Uh, and I am bringing it up. I would like feedback on that. Are you watching it because you're enjoying me playing a game and talking and don't really care about the game that I'm playing? Or are you watching it because uh, the game is interesting? Uh, I mean, that is difficult to answer since it depends on what game. Uh, I mean, this is a game to game decision thing. But yes, feedback, please. Um, this will also mean that I will have to uh, rewire my brain in regards to uh, not feeling bad about dropping a series if I see that they have low views over several episodes, even though I might be enjoying the game. Uh, the exception to that being story-based role-playing games, uh, for instance Pathfinder Kingmaker, which I did 99 episodes of and I didn't care about the views at all. Uh, and I'm still annoyed that I didn't get to complete it, but there was something happening in real life that I don't remember at this time, because this is a long time ago now, and uh, that may meant that when I was at the point where I could return to the game, uh, Owlcat Games had patched the game to such an extent that it was no longer the same game that I was playing. Uh, like, they had added a tactical um, turn-based combat, for instance. Uh, and then they also uh, they've also announced Pathfinder: Wrath of the Righteous as a new game, uh, also based on Pathfinder. G, uh, and I very much want to play that on the channel. But if I am going to play Pathfinder Kingmaker again, uh, because I still want to finish that game, uh, I will simply start on level one again. Um, so that might happen. It might not. We'll see. Feedback on these things are very, very important for me. Uh, I cannot uh, stress enough how important feedback is on this because I'm with with having started streaming. I'm currently at a kind of a crossroads where I'm trying to figure out what is best for everyone involved. And now I can't please everyone, but I can do my best at least to to provide content that is relevant, fun, and enjoyable. And that is my goal. 
Um, but as per usual, the red thread of my content has been that I refuse to play games that I do not enjoy, and that won't change. If I do not enjoy a game, I will not play it, uh, and I definitely won't record it. That's just how I function. I'm doing this because it is fun, I am doing this because it is good for my mental health, I'm not doing this because other reasons, whatever those reasons might be. Now, I would also like to uh, extend uh, my deep gratitude to those of you who have decided to support me financially, of course. Um, even though you guys know that I'm not relying on this income, uh, it is still very welcome because it has enabled me to buy more hardware and games and so forth that has been giving me opportunities to produce uh, more and better quality content. So uh, thank you so much for that. Um, and also, thank you so much to those of you who cannot support me or choose not to do so, but still watch my content. That is also very, very important. I mean, I'm doing this because it's fun to share my love of games. So, uh, please don't feel bad if you choose not to support me financially. Uh, and for those of you who do, thank you again for doing so. When it comes to ads, uh, the ad income is not really that high, um, and I am very conscious, consciously trying to keep the ads at a minimum. Uh, I always try to uh, remember to click skip, uh, skippable ads. Uh, I always try to remove the post-roll ads, um, and mid-roll ads is not happening on my channel. I, I detest mid-roll ads myself, and uh, I really, really don't want you guys to have to uh, to be annoyed by that. And I should also mention that if you're using an ad blocker, uh, please don't have a bad conscience because I'm using an ad blocker myself now, albeit I do have YouTube Premium, but if I didn't have YouTube Premium, I would still be using an ad blocker. And ad income from one view or 10 viewers isn't really that much anyways, so uh, use your ad blockers and have a good conscience. Uh, the most important thing for me is that you are enjoying the content. Now, if you have any tips about games, whether they are old or new, uh, that you guys think that I would enjoy playing and that you think would make for good content, then please let me know. Uh, you can either comment on uh, my videos, you can uh, tell me in my Discord server, or you can even send me a private message if it's something that you'd like to, uh, to uh, mention in private. Uh, finally, uh, the matter of like and subscribe, and that is a fairly common term on YouTube. I uh, wanted to mention that in this specific video, but in general I feel it is rather redundant to mention that in my videos, because I believe that the vast majority of people who are using YouTube, they know exactly where the buttons are, and they also know what they do. So, uh, the... Having that said, in, in, in all of my videos, uh, I, I don't feel comfortable with doing that. Uh, I don't mind other people doing it. Everyone should do what they feel is best for their content, but for me that is just not, doesn't feel natural. Um, it does feel relevant to remind about in this video though, because uh, while the YouTube algorithm is uh, one of the uh, large mysteries of life to most people, uh, one of the things that we do know is that a channel's subscriber amount, a, a video's likes, and also comment interactions on videos, they do help in visibility because the algorithms very definitely prioritize videos that have a higher amount of likes or uh, and or uh, actually a uh, high amount of comments when uh, YouTube does its recommendation. So if for instance someone is searching for satisfactory uh, pipes, uh, one of the reasons why my tutorial uh, on pipes has such high visibility is because of the high interaction on the video from the audience. So I'd, I just wanted to mention that, uh, that that is also a way that you can help and support the channel that I am deeply appreciative of, but I'm not going to mention it in any video, except for the comment part, because I feel that it is relevant to be inviting in regards to comments, that I'm welcoming comments and questions in the comment section, uh, <laughs> where I usually <laughs> tend to mix the comment section and the description section up, but uh, anyways. <laughs> um, so... 
with that said, of course, if you want to uh, to uh, pop on over to uh, to Twitch, uh, you can find me there as Caladorn. That's probably a knowledge bomb. Uh, but you can also find the link to that in the description below. The same goes for the Discord server. And uh, with that, I would just like to thank you so much for your time and for uh, being here with me where I'm uh, bumbling along trying to uh, see if this kind of uh, channel update videos with me on camera and so forth is something that I uh, feel is relevant and something that I should continue. Anyhow, I do look forward to producing more content for you guys in the future. And uh, again, thank you so much for, uh, for uh, taking the time to watch this video. Have a good one, everyone.